I hunted in the air and out of trench for 15 hours. Some of the things I found in this hunt are pretty rare, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned to see them all. I didn't find this though, so don't get your hopes up. So guys, since a brand new route got added to Lumion Legacy, I decided that I should do some hunting in this place and everything in this brand new route is completely brand new, never seen before. There's actually two different encounter tables in the Aeronauta Trench, one in the normal grass and one in the secret red cave grass. The route rares are slightly different. You can find Dokan in the green grass, but you can find Pteropod in the red grass. So the first five hours I was in the green grass, but the rest of the time I was going for Pteropod there. Before I start off this hunt, I should say that I did use Roam Boost for the first couple hours of this hunt because I needed a Glaciadia for my mastery. Well, once I eventually found a Glaciadia, I turned on my Gleam Boost, so just keep that in mind, but let's get straight into the hunt. Starting off this hunt with a Corrupt Crab Bushy. I get three shards. But then right after that, the Corrupt Scampy, so they're really giving me the shards at the start of the hunt, I guess. Strangely enough, back to back with that Scampy was a Mudagun. Alright. And then a Gamma Somata. Okay, Somata's actually not that common in the air, not a trend, so I'll take its Gamma form any day. But after that was an Arceros. You know, I'd take a Gamma Arceros, I'm not gonna lie. But then a Pyramine, and then a Cephalops, and then an Alpha of everybody's favorite Lumion, Singil, but then Protagon, but then Dakuda, which is pretty cool. But then here it's an Alpha Scampy, and then another Alpha Scampy, and then another Arceros. Alright, can I get a Glaciadia? Like, I kind of need one for mastery. Alright, there we go. Thank you for the Glaciadia game, I appreciate it. Now that I got my Gleam Pity on, I found an Arceros. And then another Alpha Singil, followed by another Glaciadia. And there is a Duskit followed by an Alpha Singil, and then another Alpha Singil, and then Alpha Somata. I take those over the Singils, I'm not gonna lie. And there is Glaciadia, followed by a Corrupted Scampy. And then Alpha Crab Bushy, I think that's my first one so far, so I'll take it. And then Alpha Singil, followed by a Protagon. Well, now that I've hunted for five hours, I'm gonna be going into the red grass, starting with an Alpha Scampy. And then there is a Glaciadia, followed by a Duskit, and then a Protagon. Then there is an Ikazune, followed by a Gamma Scampy. Scampy. You know what? I'll take a Gamma Scampy any day. I'll take any Gamma, to be honest, and all of these are brand new Lumions. Followed by an Alpha Polypi. Polypi's pretty rare in the air, not a trend, so I'll take an Alpha form. Followed by an Alpha Scampy. And then a Gamma Singil. You know what? I'll take it. Even though Singil is pretty annoying, I'll take it. It's Gamma form. Then we can see a Protagon, but then another Gamma Scampy. Not bad. Followed by a Duskit, and then a Pyramind. Followed by a Protagon. And then an Alpha Krabushi. Pretty cool. And then an Elephage. And then an Alpha Scampy. And then then another Elephase, the game's giving me lots of Elephases right now, but then you give me a Dakuda, which is pretty cool. Then a Corrupt Scampy, followed by an Alpha Defensive Priority Lumion, and then an Alpha Kerbushi. Is that another Elephase? And then a Pyramine. We just hit the 10 hour mark, and then we immediately found a Gamma Singil. Alright, five hours to go. And then an Alpha Scampy, followed by a Pyramine, and then an Elephase, and then Alpha Somata, and then a Gamma Somata. Okay, another one, dude. And then a Dakuda, followed by Pyramind, and then Glaciadia, but then I found a Pyramind, but this one's pretty annoying because I was one away from pity when I found this, so of course, back to back is an Alpha Scampy, and then Alpha Singil, and then Glaciadia, followed by another Alpha Singil, and then a Pyramind again, and then another Alpha Somata, okay, it's giving me a lot of these things, followed by a Cephalops, and then Alpha Scampy, and then there is a Pyramind, followed by another Pyramind, and then there is a Corrupted Shard, followed by an Alpha Shard, no, no, Alpha Alpha Singil, right? Yeah. And then Alpha Polypi. Okay, I'll take a Gamma Polypi if you really want to give me that game, please. And then a Cephalops. And then a Pyramine. And then another Pyramine. But right back to back with that Pyramine was a Mudagon. Then I found Alpha Singil, but it was one before Pity for some reason. That was kind of weird. And then Mudagon. And then my final encounter was a Gamma Scampy. You know, I guess it's good to end it off with a Gamma, right? So yeah, those were my 15 hours of hunting in the Aeronauta Trench. I did find them pretty interesting interesting things, but I will say there's a pretty lackluster hunt compared to a lot of other hunting videos I've done on the main channel in the past, and that might be because it's a little bit harder to hunt in the Aeronauta Trench than normal, because the most common Lumion in the Aeronauta Trench is Singil, which is pretty annoying to find in the wild because it has a super time-consuming ability every time you encounter it. Quick update to this, Lumion Legacy actually updated Singil to not have defensive priority anymore, so thank you Lumion Legacy devs for adding this ability after I was done my hunt. 
That's actually why I hunted for 15 hours instead of 10 hours. There was originally going to be a 10 hour hunt, but then I realized my encounters were pretty terrible. So I went to an extra five hours. Why don't I show off the numbers of everything I found? I found 26 alphas, seven gammas, only five corrupt surprisingly, but 31 roamers, 12 of them being brand new roamers in the Atlantean part two update, as well as 12 pyramids. And the rare things I did end up finding in this hunt were my two gamma somatas. <laughs> yeah, those are the only noteworthy things I found in this hunt. Again, it wasn't that crazy. But Somata is not actually that common to find in the air, not a trend. It's more of a rare Illumi. Not the rarest one, but I believe it's a 1 of 10 to find in the wild, so that should make this like a 1 of 6,400 chance to find. And I did end up finding two of them, which I guess is cool. I'm probably gonna have to end up evolving one of these two, since I do own two of them, but yeah. I'll probably be doing more hunting in the air, not a trend off video to see if I can find the rest of the gammas I'm missing, like Gamma Polypi and Gamma Crab Bush as well as the gamma route rares like Dokkan and Terrapod. And you know, maybe I'll even get lucky and find a gamma Dakuda or Glacadia or Arceros. Or maybe even Alpha Dakuda since you cannot soft reset that. So the Alpha is actually pretty decent. But yeah, this is the very first hunting video I've done on the Cold Bell channel. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these. This is probably the highest quality video I've posted on this channel so far. And I do plan to release more high quality videos on this channel in the future. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers on this channel. So if you guys could subscribe to help me reach that goal that would be great. But yeah, I'm just gonna end this video off here, so I'll catch you guys later.